guys welcome again with the same day but uh, with a different video so this video is gonna be regarding your uh, permanent sin number that's uh, the necessary thing you have to do after receiving your pr card or uh, your pr confirmation so i'm gonna let you know how you can uh, get your permanent sin number not based into the service canada office so i'm gonna let you know to do it by online if you want to save your time or having a busy schedule because definitely after pr people uh, start working more and uh, them schedule is very busy so it's very important you should change your uh, sin number after receiving your pr because that's the main thing you have to do it and uh, after getting your new SIN number, you have to provide the new SIN number with uh, My Service Canada account CRA and uh, uh, whatever services you taking like from your bank or uh, provide it to your employers. So that's the first step you have to take after your PR. So I'm gonna let you know the step by step uh, how you can apply by online. So stay with me and. Uh, if anybody gets still confused after watching my video, let me know in the comments and uh, I will try my best to help you and reply you as soon as possible. First of all, find for scene number update. And you will see the first result, social insurance number. This is a Canadian uh, website the government website so there will be a three option to applying a SIN number the, the one will be apply online you can apply by email as well fill the form and send it by email and the third option is visit in service Canada office and uh, you can get your SIN number same time but applying online can save your time and you can receive your SIN number at your home address in 7 to 10 days so apply online for SIN number It will take maximum 10 minutes. So type of application. So this time we are going to apply for our permanent SIN number. Before the SIN number was temporary and it was started with 9. But now we are going to get a permanent SIN number that even we change our province in Canada anywhere. It will always gonna be stay same that is never gonna be changed so this time we'll choose option change of status <coughs> sorry I'm going to use a random information make sure you fill your own and correct information match with your passport family name known as uh, last name as well date of birth the day time telephone number is like 8 in the morning to 5 p.m. The language for me is English. If you can speak and write or understand the French as well, you can go for that. And we need to give our family detail as well for the father and mother this will be stay in the file only will not mention in a scene number
birthplace the birthplace you can find on your passport with all details is the applicant currently in Canada yes applicant status in Canada so my status is right now the PR so permanent residence type of so what documents I'm gonna submit to them to prove my status so I received my PR card already but if you just received e-copper only so you can mention the second option confirmation of permanent residence any of them can work expiry date so it's for five years the PR card and the e-copper is for one year only so make sure you choose your own date So till 26 I receive in June so so the mailing address where they will send your SIN number Country Canada Social Insurance Number Did the applicant ever have a SIN number? Yeah, when we was uh, temporary here, there, we always have our SIN number that start with 9 so can write it here it will start always with nine if you are on study permit work permit or temporary residence after that make sure you check all the details is given correct everything looks right hit next it shows we have 30 minutes to complete but it can done less than 10 minutes are you applying for yourself yes And they need a three ID documents. So one is going to be have your PR card or it can be a, your e-copper documents. The second one will be your parents ID with the photo and proof of address. If the address is not mentioned or not in your scantry documents like in your ID then you have to provide them any ID the government ID with the proof of address but uh, there will be address on the the province ID as well so we can submit only two the one can be PR card for me and the second one can be province ID like BC ID for me so it can work as a scantry ID and proof of address the proof of address is necessary because we are applying online otherwise we can't apply online and you can upload your documents from here for the PR card need uh, both side and for the province ID need both side if something is mentioned in the second side of the ID so upload both side of the ID 
and after uploading it just uh, click here and submit it so it will be done for you and wait seven to ten days we'll receive at your home address Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends uh, who is going to get PR or they got PR. They will be able to get some help from my video and it's going to help me too. Thank you so much.